Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Julian with me. We're out of the Europa League. We've just lost a sport in 5-4 in penalties. Julian, I know you can always find positive sides to, to every game, but today was a tough one to take for me as a fan. But how was it for you out of the Europa League again? Yeah, it was tough. I'm thinking about the other cup competitions that we've played in this season. Mm -hmm. um, Brighton, I, I really didn't care that much. Yeah, I, I came out there with the big smile on my face. <laughs> um, FA Cup against Manchester City, mm. I thought we played really well. I, yeah. I actually enjoyed that game. Mm -hmm. And again, we didn't feel too despondent. When we looked at that game, I think the general consensus was that when we saw the Arsenal, not quite second team, but an Arsenal more of a shadow team than theirs, then we felt more confident for the uh, league game a few weeks later. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that confidence was slightly misplaced since we lost. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I wasn't that despondent. Um, I did starting 11 tonight and I was excited about the game yeah, yeah, and, I, yeah, and I was looking forward to the game but I didn't have that trepidation that I normally do for the Premier League because when I go to football mm -hmm. there is this two sides you get excited about winning but you get fearful about losing yeah. and I didn't really have that fear about losing because I didn't think that I was going to be that fast but the longer the game went on the more it grew the more it grew on me the more <laughs> upset I became and when it got to penalties I I did have a bad feeling about it. Yeah. it. It just didn't look... I, when you look at how the Arsenal team were at the end of the game, a few of them were sat down. Ben White was kind of just sitting there, despondent, as if they'd almost lost the game. Mm -hmm. And the main part of the game was still to come, which was the penalties. Mm -hmm. And again, Aaron Ramsdale, I didn't really understand it, but when you looked at how he was lining up for the penalties, he was actually behind the line. And I, I didn't... You know, I've played in goal before, and it's about. And I know you can't kind of come out in front of the line, but going behind the line gives them the best angle. Mm. It, it opens the game up. I think that's because he wants to jump forward it, it, it um, to, 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 clo to close the space. I think he jumps forward to close the space. That's why he stands behind the line to jump forward then or pass the line. But even still, the penalties, I, I understand that. I want to ask you, you're not, is there not a concern in your mind? You were there in Portugal last week, yep. and the performance wasn't great there, if we're completely honest. Today, it felt worse. OK, so as usual, we, if we lose, people come out, they're angry, they're despondent, everything's bad. But I don't think we should lose sight of the fact that we lost on penalties. That game could have gone either way. When you look at the, the chances that were had... Who deserved to win today? You said it could have gone either way, but who, who deserved to win? OK, so, so, so over, the, over the course of the tie, I think it was pretty much even. Over the course of the game, if you were looking at... It, it was my no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm good. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to say sport because I'm going to say what I believe. Oh, that's right. and, and I and I would say that marginally, marginally, if you look at the stats on, it was pretty similar. All right, possession slightly for us, but chances on target were very much skewed towards us. So it's not a feeling; it's based on a fact. And the fact is that we had more chances on target. Um, we hit the post. There was two guilt edge chances towards the end their goalkeeper I would say if we're doing player ratings for their team I would give their you know their goalkeeper pretty much maximum points he was really excellent now if you say that their goalkeeper was man of the match then I would say we're slightly unlucky the other thing was the, the injury situation um, you know we did have our, our best two centre halves out for at the, at the beginning of the game. Now Arteta said about them, I think a week or so ago, that I mean they've got something that I never had, which was a happy marriage. They were really, really solid. But taking one of them out of the situation, you know, of, of the game after just a few minutes, and we we lose out right back as well. That's going to disrupt the team. That's also going to limit the the substitutions that Mikel can make. So I think we slightly had the better of it. Mm -hmm. The other thing was, all right, it was it was a, a great goal. It reminded me of probably one of the worst moments of my life back in 95, mm -hmm. um, nigh in from yeah, the halfway yeah, line. And, and yeah, it was, a, look, it was a great goal, but you don't see that very often. It was a bit freakish. Mm -hmm. um, Ramsdale, he misjudged it. It was a goalkeeping error. So yeah, to answer the, the question, I think we just shaded it. We were slightly unlucky, but they didn't dominate us. We didn't dominate them. It was unlucky. So I don't think we should, any of us should be like overly angry, start criticising Mikel Arteta, start criticising individual players. 
none of them played that badly. We didn't play brilliantly. It wasn't like um, Sunday um, against Fulham. It wasn't great, but it wasn't that bad either. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.